Am I the A for telling my daughter I love my wife and my other daughters more than her? Back when my youngest daughter, Evelyn, was 20, she ended up getting pregnant by her boyfriend, Mike. Although it wasn't how we wanted our grandchild to come into this world, as she was still in school for medicine, we were nonetheless happy about it. She never expressed she wanted a termination or wanted to give him up for adoption. She went through the birth great. Things started changing a couple of months in, and she wasn't interested in taking care of her son anymore. Left him with my wife and her sisters for hours on end. She stopped breastfeeding, didn't change him whenever she was watching him, and just kept going out with Mike on dates. They both pretended my grandson didn't exist. The last straw was when Evelyn had a talk with my wife that didn't go so well. She first started with how she never wanted to be a mom, especially at such a young age. My wife told her, too bad. She shouldn't have had unprotected sex if she didn't want to be pregnant. She chose to do that, so she has to take care of what she brought into this world. They started screaming at each other, and Evelyn implied that she would just leave and start over with Mike. My wife told her if she left the baby, she wouldn't be her daughter anymore. Evelyn left our house that same week, stopped answering calls and messages. She had abandoned my grandson. My wife and daughters just moved on quickly and filed the legal reports. After a year, my eldest, Olga, and her husband adopted my grandson. It's been 15 years, and my wife just doesn't acknowledge her anymore. There's no picture of her in the house anymore, and she's practically a ghost in our house. No one speaks about her, and if they do, it's just bad remarks. Evelyn and my relationship is different. We sort of reconnected. My wife and daughters know and they don't really care as long as I don't bring her around them. She finished her PhD and got married to Mike. She has her own practice and is doing well in life. When we first started reconnecting, she used to ask if my wife was curious about her, which I didn't lie and told her no. When she heard of my wife's surgery, she offered to pay for it, but I told her that we could afford it ourselves, and my wife would have refused the money either way. She hasn't been invited to any baby showers, birthdays, celebrations, wedding parties, anything. Last night, everything went downhill. She showed up at my house and my wife was the one to answer the door. She tried to hug her, but my wife pushed her away and told her to get out. Evelyn broke down saying she was so lonely and just wanted forgiveness. My wife told her she was forgiven, but she wasn't welcome in her family. I told my wife to let me handle it, and she agreed and went upstairs. After comforting her, I told her to leave, since she was making my wife uneasy, and it would be best if we kept our relationship separate. I told her she knows how her mother and sister felt, and I wasn't going to allow her to ruin their sense of comfort. I told her to never overstep like that again, or our relationship is done. She cried and asked me if she really didn't matter to me anymore. I told her she did, but not more than them, since they didn't leave the moment things got too hard. She ended up leaving in tears and just texted me to let me know she got home okay. Since then, we haven't spoken. I feel like a jerk, but I feel like she overstepped everyone, not only my boundaries, but my wife's too. Still can't shaking if I'm wrong. Am I the A? Now for the top comments. Has she asked about her son? Does she continue to act as if he does not exist? Did she ever get therapy? She asks about him sometimes, maybe looking through his social media. She said she has gotten therapy, but I have no way to prove it. Her getting therapy... Her apologizing, her changing, her being married, her having a better life, her wanting to reconnect, her wanting forgiveness, her wanting to be part of the family again. Her, her, her. 
none of the her situations above erase the past. She chose to move on without her own baby, without her parents, without her siblings. She chose herself because herself was enough then. So herself should be enough now. I know she's your daughter, and you can continue having contact. But she made her choices. Her mother and siblings made theirs. She is not curious about her son that she abandoned. She should be asking for his forgiveness first, if allowed by his parents. She is still worried about just herself and her own loneliness. She's not that curious. She knows her sister is taking care of him, so I guess she doesn't worry as much. She sometimes checks his social media and mine for his life updates. Plus, Olga doesn't want her around, so nothing she can do there. Nah, man. Your kid made choices, and those choices lead to consequences. Since this started after she was a kid, one could surmise that some of the decisions were done under the influence of high stress related to school or PPD, but that doesn't change that what she did was crappy as F and that her outright immaturity and selfishness caused you, your wife, grandchild, and other kids great strife. In other words, you did the right thing to uphold this boundary. It feels sucky, but the reality is, you were ready to re-engage with her. Your wife and other kids are not, and maybe won't ever be. That's not something your youngest can decide for them either. Weird how she's upset about her mom not caring about her anymore, when she herself never cared about her son. Not the A. You handled all of that incredibly well. What happened to Mike and his family? When your daughter was going through all of this, did you never talk to him? Did you never try to team up with his family to understand what was going on and create options for them? Not the A, but boy, oh boy, does it sound like there is an enormous communication and family failure here. His family is still involved with him, and they were close with my grandson. But he, my grandson, decided to go low contact with them, since he didn't like the way they kept contact with his deadbeat dad. Since then, we haven't talked to them, but before we used to. Not the A. You have been more than generous with your relationship with her. You have shown more concern for her than she ever did for her own child. You are also correct in not jeopardizing the rest of the family for her own peace of mind. She is clearly intelligent and educated. She needs to accept that what she did created a rift that might never be bridged. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.